Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm finally here with a new phone. It happened y'all. I finally got a new phone. Let me show you why it was so necessary. Hey, don't mind Frederick here. I had a zit and I popped it. And it's like, of course, so noticeable now. But anyway, um, yeah, so I kept saying in my other videos that I needed a new phone. This was my 5C. I love this phone. I had it for, I'm going to say, four years. And what happened was it started to come out of itself. And, like, the home button is gone. And it would only work if you had it plugged into a charger. So it was time. So I am here today with a little picking off hair because I'm shedding again. <laughs> um, I'm here today with a makeup review from Octoly. I have done reviews with makeup and products from them in the past. I've said it before, Octoly is a website if you're a content creator and you have so many followers, likes and subscribers, and I think I already said followers, but you get what I'm saying. And it could be for YouTube or Instagram. So if you're a content creator yourself, you should look at the website. Um, and they will send you stuff and just kind of based on how many um, how many views you get and stuff like that. They'll either say yes or no. So I have to apologize to the people who sent me these products. Um, the brand is Kaylin, I believe. Yes. The f one brand is called Kaylin. I'm going to show you that in a second. And then the other one is Black Up. Uh, when you get products from them, you're supposed to put up a video within 21 days. And that includes like, they include the days they ship it to you, which is annoying because I'm like, I'm a busy girl. But it's free products. I always try to give my honest review and use them. And anyway, with this happening, I was unable to do the video and I'm really late in getting them this video up. So my bad. I'm going to start off with the Black Up. It is the Matte Definition Foundation Brush. And it is one of these. It is dirty. I used it today. And it just looks like this. I know it's, I forgot what the brand is of like the original people who made the brushes like this. But these are supposed to be really good. Um, and obviously it's kind of like a knockoff of that idea, I believe. I don't know who, again, who the first one was to design something like this. But I was kind of like, meh. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a makeup or beauty guru. I used to use my fingers to put on my foundation. And just, I use my fingers. And I know some of you are going to be like, girl, what? I did. I so to get this brush I was like all right I'll give it a whirl we'll see and I'm actually obsessed with it I love how it spreads it on evenly I just kind of dab some on my face and then I brush it out and it's so soft and like literally I would buy this again myself I can't remember how much this costs but I'm I like this I like it like a lot I use it literally every single day it's like again the bristles are really really soft um, I kind of want a sweater made out of this material. That's like how soft it is. And yeah, so I would buy this for myself with my own money. So then that's saying a lot because y'all know I'm cheap, okay? Next item is another product by Black Up. And it is this Matte Definition Powder. And it does say on here that it is a, it's a matte yet sheer complexion without letting um, an ashy finish. And then, uh, blah, 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 blah. so basically the powder is a little darker, but when you put it on your face, it's supposed to somehow just match your skin tone. Um, let me get it out of the box here so you can kind of see. It just looks like this. It has my fingerprints all over it because I have been using it for weeks now. So it just looks like that. So again, obviously you can kind of tell my skin tone. It is a little darker, but it doesn't, it does, uh, what am I saying? But it does match my skin and gives it a sheer matte look. At least I think so. I do really like this. Again, this is another product I would buy myself. And I'm probably blinding you with the mirror. I gotta sneeze. Hmm. Oh, I had a burp. I lied. Everything for these will be linked below. And if there's any coupon codes and all that jazz, I will have it in the description box. So just keep that in mind. And then the last item I have to show is by Kaylin. It is this beautiful set. It's a lipstick set and it has a lip liner and then a lipstick glitter. So it is matte to glitter lip trio. I got it in the color power red because I am obsessed with red lipstick. I love a good pinup girl red lipstick. And I especially love liquid to matte. So when I saw this available, I was like, yes, give me. Oh, this is what it looks like when you take it out, the three things here. So here you have the lipstick, um, the lip liner, excuse me, and it has a cute little base, so you can actually just set it out 
on your desk. My hand's probably not the best. Ooh, I did it. Ooh, for a second. And the base is also a sharpener. So once you use this down, you can sharpen it. So that's kind of cool. I will say that I did not use the liner today, um, but I'll show you a swatch. I would, it looks beautiful. I'm just so lazy that like I barely ever use lip liner even when it's provided. So that's my problem. So I didn't use any today, but it is really pretty. It matches and it's perfect. And then on to the actual lipstick. Again, it has a cute little base. So you can just sit it up so ugh, if you want to. It is the perfect pinup girl red, like I said. Um, and then, and it does say made in the USA, which is cool. And then my big issue with this lipstick though is I like the formula, I like the color, but I absolutely hate the wand. It's flat, it doesn't do anything for me. It, it's, it makes it a little more difficult to apply. Cause again, I don't like, I'm not fancy. I don't have like lipstick brushes and stuff. I just use this um, and I just don't like the shape of it. So that's like my one like meh about this product is that. And then <laughs> the final um, part of this is the lipstick glitter. It looks so beautiful in there. I think if you're going to go for a whole glam look for this Christmas um, and holiday season, this would be kind of cool to do, uh, you know, glitter on your lips. Or if you have like a photo shoot or you're doing like a Christmas card, that'd be kind of cool to have on there. Get out of there. All right, so this is my other issue is that the glitter kind of goes everywhere. I will not lie, that was just a few shakes. But it does look like very pretty glitter. I'm gonna actually put some lipstick on my hand. I should just do my lips, shouldn't I? I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Oh, look at that one little touch of it. That's crazy, yo. That's crazy. So the glitter is a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be to get on. I, the lipstick actually dried really fast. So I'm sure there's girls out there that can do this a lot better than I can. Having difficulties here. Let's get a little closer to the camera. I'm going to get a little closer to the camera. <laughs> was that pretty mm. so it's kind of cool but you can see like it definitely did not stay in the lines so I won't lie I probably will not use the glitter but I will continue to use the lipstick and possibly the lip liner I think it is a cool package and like set to have so overall I do like the lipstick formula that's the most important thing to me so yeah <laughs> all right guys that's everything again if you liked any of these products yourselves if you're bothering to watch this video I'm sorry <laughs> I feel like I suck anyway um, if you want any of these things I will have everything in the description box below as I said earlier I gotta go wash my finger and if you'd like to stick around hit the subscribe button now and if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up and until next time see you later guys bye uh, uh, I feel like this was a terrible video I tried <laughs>